Hi all, today we're going to be talking about the Striker, the first stun machine gun available to you in Modern Warfare 3 as of the open beta that has gone live today. The Striker is a decent SMG. It's nothing exceptionally amazing, and it's mostly characterized by having absurdly good accuracy in exchange for low damage and a decent fire rate. It's a solid option. You know what, for a starter submachine gun, it performs exactly how you'd expect it to. It's nothing outstanding, but it's extremely easy to pick up and use, and it feels good in your hands. So, in the way of attachments, I found that just optimizing it for mobility and handling proved to be the best. You don't have a lot of sources of aim down sight speed in this game, and with how absurdly accurate the striker is, you don't need additional recoil control. So I found that just choosing to increase your aim down sight speed, your movement speed, all of your agility in general was the best way to play this gun. I've gone for the striker slot barrel just for the extra move speed, the spread to fire, and the aim move speed. It's just more agility. I've gone for no stock for more aim down sight speed, and more move speed, and more agility in general. The tat grip for, you guessed it, sprint to fire speed. And I've gone for the 20 round magazine. You could go for a larger magazine, I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, you start with 30 off the bat, which is decent, but honestly, if you can kill a target within 30 rounds, you can probably do it within 20, and the extra sprint to fire, aim down sight, and move speed with the 20 round mag is well worth it, and you just get a fast reload to boot. If you were feeling a little silly, you could go for a larger magazine. I personally wouldn't, but it is ultimately up to you. I still found the 20 to work best because you're probably going to be reloading after every kill anyway, so you may as well just optimize for the 20. It's a relatively fun gun. Uh, as of note, for the other stuff in the loadout, pick whatever handgun you want, pick whatever attack and lethal you want, pick whatever field equipment you want, it doesn't really matter. And I've found that the quick grip gloves for the extra spot speed is very, very handy in case you have to panic. The stalker boots are great for the extra ADS move speed, and your gear doesn't really matter, let's be real here. So, we're going to jump into a live game. As I've said, this is the first day of the beta. I'm a fairly average player, I'm nothing particularly amazing. I don't even know if I can tell you my stats anywhere, which is a real shame. But I'm a relatively okay player. I'm nothing exceptional. I won't pretend to be an amazing player by any means. We'll vote for high rise. And you'll get to see what this gun looks like in the hands of an average player in an average match. I like the striker a lot though. I think it's a lot of fun. I naturally gravitated towards it because I love my submachine guns. It looks and somewhat feels like a UMP. And it's just really, really nice in general. I really recommend it. I think it's an excellent submachine gun to start on. And well, Let's just play around, you'll get to see what it's like. Of course, I'm not editing any of this, so you're going to have to deal with the load times. Deal with it, I guess. And, yeah, it's it's a good gun. It, it, it feels good. Um, I'm really enjoying the beta, and I think the Striker is a really, really nice option. Uh, I found it a really good gun to get used to the small changes of Modern Warfare 3 on. And, in general, it's just been... It's been a great little gun. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to say something to fill time. It's, it's a good weapon. I really enjoy it. Uh, I think coming from Modern Warfare 2, I think if you have experience with the ISO 45, it feels relatively similar to that. And if you've also played Modern Warfare 2, um, I think it's also relatively similar to the AUG, funnily enough. I find it feels like a weird mix between the AUG and the, LW, uh, the ISO 45, because it just feels relatively balanced. It doesn't have the most time to kill, you will still lose the faster outputting weapons, but it feels pretty reliable for what it is. Keep in mind, especially with the full agility build, you fall off at range hard. Like, this gun has no damage at range. Oh, wrong side. Huh? Can you tell I haven't played these maps? I never played the original Modern Warfare 2, so these maps are all brand new to me. But yeah, this gun, not good at range, especially with the agility build, but it's just... It doesn't have any damage output at range, even when trying to specialize for it. I wouldn't really recommend it. It did get nerfed in this beta cycle as well. It had its damage, not significantly, but noticeably cut at range. So, to me, it doesn't make sense to build it into a range of machine gun. Unless when the launch comes around, if long shots are part of your camo challenges. Of course, if they are, then obviously you would build for range. But this review has been strictly gathered during one day of playing the beta. Keep that in mind. But I wanted to get a review on because I've really been liking this gun. Been having a ton of fun with the striker. Been having a ton of fun with the beta in general. Please do tell if you'd like me to do more stuff because I'm honestly really enjoying Modern Warfare 3. It's a lot of fun. It, it feels it feels good. 
Obviously, I can't really show you a whole lot of, like, how to really maximize the striker just because it's still the beta. Not all of the content is available for us to play with here. But you know what? We're doing what we can. So, High Rise. It's a decent map for the striker. It's not amazing. The lanes on it are just a little too long for what the striker is comfortable with most of the time. But that's what happens when I give you a live game. You don't always get the best map. Ow, please don't hurt me. I find that so far, out of the five maps currently available, it shined the most on Skid Row and Rust. Rust, obviously, because it's small, you don't have to worry about the damage fall off as badly. And Skid Row also, I find, tends to have shorter combat lengths or otherwise easily approachable cover if you should need to reload in any situation. I forgot to mention the fact that I'm running an optic on it. Given that optics in this game seemingly do not have aimed on sight penalties, which is really nice. Except for one of them for some reason. One of the Vault Edition uh, attachments gives you aimed out sight speed. I would advise running that if you have it. If you're just paying for the game like a scrub like me, then obviously that's not available to you. Still, Optic is not mandatory, but given that you're not suffering a penalty for it, and there's not really anywhere else to fill the slot with, you could select an ammunition choice if you really wanted to, but I honestly don't find it necessary. I don't think it's a gun that would benefit from taking any of the available ammunition slots. I just went for the optic because the iron sights on it are honestly pretty mediocre. They're not terrible, they're absolutely workable. But the optics in this game are really, really clean, and I would just advise running them if you're able to, if you have the free slot. It is by no means a mandatory attachment, however, I recommend it. I certainly recommend it, it certainly makes your time a lot easier. It's also worth noting, as I mentioned, that this is the first submachine you get access to. By the time you're able to create a class, you will have the striker available to you, so it's not like you have to wait and grind up levels beforehand. It's also nice, because if you're just playing the beta for the first time, you don't have to try and power grind to use the one gun that's really, really good. Not that a striker is really good, but it's not like it's a super OP gun that you're going to have to grind a shit ton during the beta to unlock. It's just an alright gun that you start with, that feels good. And honestly, for a submachine gun, there's not much more I could have asked. It should be pretty clear. I like it. I have fun with it. You'll notice the recoil and the accuracy problems are not existent, even though I'm running a full agility build. You know, stock, lightest barrel, everything. It's it's honestly quite absurd just how accurate this gun is, even when you're not built for it. Of course, the aiming stability is pretty shit. But that's just something you'll learn to manage, and honestly, the 8 down sight speed and move speed more than makes up for it. Because against players with stronger guns, you're going to have to outjuke them. The gun just doesn't put out enough damage, especially once you start hitting mid-ranges, to reliably win engagements against other players, unless you get the drop on them, or you burnt them down with headshots. You'll have to rely on your aim. In that sense, ow. In that sense it's a gun that's going to be pretty aim-dependent. Uh, from what I've heard, aim assist is nerfed on consoles, so I'm not sure if this would be my first choice on the console build. I am playing on PC, pretty obviously. But, you probably should have recognized that by now. So, the striker. We can pretty much wrap this up because the match is coming to an end. It's a good SMG. Ultimately, I do think it is very much a learner submachine gun. I don't think it's going to shine, especially if it stays in the, in the state it is when we get to a full launch. But I think for a submachine gun to get you eased into the game, I think it's a pretty alright option. I think it's a lot of fun to use. A uh, submachine gun that honestly fully rewards taking a full mobility set on it. Feels fun. It's just fun to be fast around the map. It feels fun to be agile. It's just a very fun feeling gun, even if it's not putting out the most damage. It feels very reliable, it feels very consistent. Unless you have terrible aim like I do, then it's not going to perform as well. But if you have the aim, I think it's pretty good. We end up winning by one kill. That's a feels good, man. Winning in one of these series is always nice, given that it's live, and it means I don't look like too much of a scrub on footage. But, you know. Ultimately, as I said, this is still the beta. Um, it's very likely that this gun will change. I just wanted to get a video out on it, because I've been really, really enjoying it. I think it's a ton of fun to use. I highly recommend it. Just keep in mind it is the beta. Things are probably going to change. I'm not sure how accurate this video will be later, but hopefully it still stays relatively relevant. So, with that being said, thank you all, and I will see you all again, hopefully, another time. Bye.